The Bokpur CSP project is a bit two round project, uh, a CSP parabolic trough, a concentrated solar power plant, uh, one of the first in this country, actually the, th the third CSP plant in this country, um, 50 megawatts, general normal thermal cycle CSP plant, solar thermal plant, but with the added twist of a very large storage system, which makes it a very different entity altogether. I think one of the biggest criticisms that renewables have had is that it's not dispatchable and not reliable. And so the grid management becomes a problem. However, with the storage added to this renewable technology, you have an opportunity to essentially dispatch at will. For the grid operator, that's something that they've always been looking for. Uh, we have a thermal storage system, which is like a rechargeable battery, effectively working on molten salts. And during the day, the heat is captured from the sun to charge up the molten salt system. So it's heat up the molten salts to over 400 degrees. And then at night, that is then discharged into a cold salt tank and then used, that heat energy is used to create steam to run a conventional steam turbine. In March this year, when we went com full commercial operation, the first week of operation, we managed to go 161 hours without stopping the plant. Uh, that is, for me, uh, an amazing record, and it is setting new standards in Africa, of course. Uh, we hope to extend that to as, as long as possible, close to, to a month or two, if possible, over the summer period. CSP was traditionally seen as a peaking plant, uh, and, and, and CSP plants around the world are, are built with smaller storage systems, and so allow them to meet the evening peak kind of demands just after sunset, additional two to three hours. However, with adequate storage, and that was the design for Bokpur, with 9.3 hours, you bring in completely new uh, possibilities for this plant. The plant can effectively become a load falling plant, as we've proven in, in, in March, and it can also become a two shifting plant, or what we call a plant that can start and stop early in the morning and late after evening peak. So it can cover quite a long, hour, long hours of the day. I think CSP needs to be looked upon as a very uh, useful and flexible kind of technology. It can serve as a peaking technology, it can serve as a, as a, as, as a load following technology and potentially even with large enough storage as a full base load station. The cost associated with it will come down at this point in time from bid 2 to the, the recent bids, the prices have come down almost 15, 50% and that is likely to continue such that eventually within the next, in my opinion, two to three years, it can come close to parity with conventional coal-fired power stations. Yes, we are currently in the process of uh, closing one of our uh, uh, recent, uh, one of our uh, central tower receivers, which is Redstone uh, Central Tower Receiver in Portmansburg. We hope to close that project within the month and start construction before end of this year. Uh, that will then be our second CSP plant, and we're also waiting for the, the latest uh, preferred bidder announcement from the DOE for another bid that we've put in for another 150 megawatt solar tower.